everybody, welcome back to my channel and I am very excited to be sharing with you my completed renovation of Strangerville. Also including all of the other worlds that have been renovated as well. If you want to go check out the other worlds, I'll leave links to the previous videos so you can look about there. Strangerville has been a very contested issue. The overall consensus is that storyline, great, worlds, had the maybe no it's not the worst world it's a really good world it's really really pretty it's quite a big world for a game pack and all but the effort that ea put into the world in terms of housing not great but it's all right because i've fixed that issue i don't know i prefer it a lot more now i've still stuck to the western style some of you said that i need to sleep and honestly i just want to let you know up front right now i'm good i am okay i am fine i got all of my pre-recorded videos done for the weekend so i was done there which meant that i had monday to do the save file and I'm a, I'm a quite a fast builder so i'm not not sleeping i'm just missing uni which to be honest that's not that's not even a bad thing but if you got uni don't skip it it's so bad that i skip uni for the same as this is what the world looks like there is two places that i haven't touched right now and that is the secret lab and also this plane landing site because to be honest the plane landing site i liked how it looked so i didn't touch that i did try and do my own mystery where bella goth from willow creek was like stuck underneath that and it was going to be like a whole thing of oh what's the mystery where's Bella gone but I exited out the lot and went back in and she wasn't there anymore and I'd went to the effort of locking her in a room and everything Bella is she's safe and sound in Willow Creek just not in my my LP and the secret lab I didn't want to touch it yet because I don't know if I touch it how much gameplay it'll affect so I kind of wanted to wait a little bit and then I'll release an updated version if and when I can touch the lab but apart from that all of the residential lots and community lots have been completely redone I really like them so I'm going to start off in the big area over here starting off with the electronic arts household because i don't know i find them pretty boring household so i'll give them all makeovers and everything everyone's equipped for warm weather cold weather party wear you won't get any weird outfits walking about that's all good it's all great it's all sorted and this is the house that i've done a speed build of so i'm not going to go into it too much but it's a very vibrant color i changed the color a brownie outer <laughs> with yellow sliding on the things i'm not american right so i don't know what it, these terms are i just make it up as i go along very western style very disappointed as well to know that you can't buy these and they're not available in debug either i was really excited about them they're very young so i kept it very bright and contemporary they got a little outdoor bit with the painting and then the rooms are all very artsy very artsy a place to bin a place to bin so you can't have a go at me for that one not that you ever do but you know if you ever were going to i've placed to bin so that's all good and the sims all the faces and stuff are still the same They're still got the same personality shining through i just dressed them in nicer clothing so they all look they all look good they all look great the oldest family in town i deleted because i don't know i just didn't didn't like the look of them that was before i realized their connection to area 51 but they're gone and i've replaced them with a pack because once we're all over the whole story based gameplay of it we need this world with a functional park and stuff like that so i thought i'd include one now it is child friendly cat friendly dog friendly toddler friendly and everything i wanted it to be very open i did originally do a big massive barn and it looked pretty good but from the world view it looked absolutely disgusting so i deleted that big barn that was over here and it's just a very open play park which kind of fits in with the rest of the, the world if you don't have any of the packs like this comes with toddler stuff and this comes with pets all that'll happen is like you'll open it and it'll look like that i've got some potties outside as well for the toddlers to go and you know do the business i really really like this pack as well it took a while for it to come together but when it came together i was like yes thank you and then next up we have a return family from the sims 2 which i really wanted to do with this town i wanted to bring some families back from the sims 2 that we know and love and i also kind of want to keep some secrets so i don't think i'm going to show you their house because there's a little like secret going on don't get proper hyped because it's not like another strangerville mystery kind of thing it's just little little things that i put about the town to keep it interesting instead of just like your basic suburb and there's things that make this town a little bit kooky a little bit fruity the Strangeful family. But it's the Beaker family from Strange Town with Nervous Subject as the son. Then over here we just have an empty lot. This is like an absolute mansion. There's two empty lots in the world. But with the empty lots, I haven't stylized them that much because I hate going and playing into a house. Oh wow, that's an issue there. Let me just sort that out. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Sorry. I hate going in and playing a house that's already styled for a family if it doesn't match up with my family. So they're all styled, not too much. It's just furnished to a nice amount where you can easily change it. Very posh and regal. And I really like the whole Windows vibe. I think it only maybe works with this town, but I really like the colouring of the reds and stuff. That is the Beaker family over there. That's where they live. But again, not going to show you that. I'm going to let you solve that mystery for yourselves. Then over here, we have the Smith family, which is another return from The Sims 2. So you've got the alien dad, the pollination 
Mission Technician 9 and the Alien Son, Johnny Smith. They are green, but they are also aliens. So if you've got the pack, that gives you aliens. I don't even know what one it is, to be honest. I'm just... I don't know, but if you don't have the pack with aliens, then there's still a pea green, so it still gives you that illusion. They're one of my favourites from The Sims 2. I really like that family, but I really love the whole aliens. Aliens were done really well in The Sims 2. Again, I really, really like this whole style. Like the country style, I don't even know. I don't live in America, so I don't know about it, but I wish I did. And I've also given them flags outside. This one's kind of green because the aliens, so I can imagine this being a salute to like his home, like his actual planet, not just this house. So some of the places do have flags outside as well because I thought it's a very military oriented town. It's going to have them kind of things. I really like this house as well. I, I love it. You know, when some houses just come together really easily this is one of them houses they're all proper playable as well so like you won't be overdone with clutter but there's enough clutter to actually make it lived in this trailer park as well i really enjoyed building this i wanted to give it the kind of vibe of the trailers that were around it because especially like with this trailer over here it looks kind of boho with the stuff coming off the trees i thought it looked really cool and i was really really disappointed to see that we couldn't have these coming off our caravans like these weren't a viable object so i decided to try and replicate it <laughs> so we've got these little flip flops that we got as part of a free pack and a makeshift awning over here and this just gives it just adds to the retro vibe and a car as if the car's just pulled up outside of it i can imagine like because with english caravans right some of them are like really posh but the majority of them are still from the 90s and they're not that up to date so I thought I'll keep it with like the old style, but whoever lives in here has just kind of decked it out to suit their style. So that's the trailer. And then we have the Eight Bells Bar over here. I'm not the best builder in the world, so granted other simmers could probably do this better, but I really wanted to give this the old country vibe because a lot of military staff come here as well. I included the flags outside and lots of places to sit outside and drink, but it's giving me real vibes. I don't know what vibes because like I say, I'm not from America, but like I'm feeling this place. Some table and chairs, some activities as well. This is from Get Together. So if you don't have Get Together, they won't be there. Not that you're going to bring a toddler, but just in case you're going to bring a toddler, there is a potty over there and some dog's toys and a dog ball and a little child's play thing. So kids have something to do. All of it's just open plan. So it just, it looks like that, which I think suits it. So this is one of my favorite builds that I've ever done ever. I, I really enjoyed that build from start to finish. Next, we're going to go to the Edge family, which I built this house on stream. If you don't follow me on Twitch, it's just Plumbella on Twitch. You can if you want, you don't have to though. So the family that I made, because it's a very colorful house are all very, very colorful. I can imagine the dad to be you know, a fan of the old wacky backy, the old devil's lettuce. That's just how I see him. Very like gap yard. That's how I see the dad very much. So the house is very, very bright. It kind of, it represents them well. All of the rooms are so, so bright. And these are all very nicely furnished. A, because they're not on stream. So I wanted to make an extra effort for you. But B, because there's already a family in there. So it's already dialed to the personas. And I wanted to keep the kind of spooky vibe of Stranger Town. So I've got like ghosts here. Because you know, what kid wants to have ghosts on the wall? Like I did as a kid because I was obsessed with ghouls and stuff like that. Kind of keeping with that same vibe. And this is what the outside looks like. I've just used an incorporation of the pink door and the white sliding. That's what it's called, isn't it? Sliding, sliding, sliding. And then for the final family, we have the Sigworth family, which do already come in with a base game. I've just edited them a little bit. And their little girl is friends with this little girl here. So they all know each other. They've all got jobs and careers and stuff already to go for years too. So you just don't have to do anything like that. With these houses, I was really inspired by like the houses around it because they were so bright and colorful. And then the ones that EA made just weren't that bright and colourful at all. Nowhere near. So I wanted to make it really bright and colourful. So we have a yellow. No, we don't. I'm clearly colourblind or just thick or both. So I'm just going to call myself out and I said at the beginning of the video that I'm good. I'm fine. I'm not even tired. Don't worry about it. Um, I think you can tell how much I've lost the plot a little bit from how much my sentences don't make sense throughout the entirety of this video. I'm not even able to name the correct colour. So I just want to say I'm sorry for that. And it's it's just been a long couple of days. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll try better next time. Bye. We have a blue and pink house and I love this house. I wanted to keep it the same style. I didn't want to put like two story house here. I wanted to keep it the same bungalow style as these. And then the inside as well, kind of keeping up that vibe, but not too overpowering. Like there's a lot of colors going on here, but they're all very muted. Some more ghosts in the kids' room as well, because obviously she's best mates with the other girl who likes ghosts, so they're both going to have ghosts in the room. And you already know the family because it comes with the game pack, so I'll let you explore them by yourself. And then the final lot is in the center square, which I'm a bit disappointed about. I expected us to be able to use the center square more than we can. And it was just originally a library at first, and it still is, 
it still is a library but i think if you're gonna go to the center square and you can cook food and stuff you kind of want i expected a couple of monkey bars here but there's not and we don't have the chance to edit them so instead what i've done is i've double lock kind of thing so the library is in here outside we've got a little play park i've got a little library bit in here because they don't need to be that big the libraries really and it goes over to this bit over here and then we have a kid's bit to play in and a toddler's bit to play in over here which is fenced in as well which i think i don't know imagine like just locking toddlers in here and then bailing it'd be funny so it's got stuff for everyone to do because i find it hard enough to make the sims leave the house enough as it is with like ea's builds so i wanted to do something that made it easier for them to leave the house so all of the worlds and lots are usable for a lot of people so you can come here you can play chess you can solve the mystery you can cook some food you can just play leave your kids here while you go talk to people and socialize and romanticize the park i'm pretty sure that's the entire world overview but now i'll jump in at how to download it so what will happen is you'll click on the link in the description bar sims file share is working again now so that's good and it'll bring you to this so you want to go here and click download once it's downloaded it'll probably be in your downloads folder and what you want to do is right click click copy and then go to my documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, saves, right click and paste. It is the name 82, save file 82. You probably won't have 82 save files in your game, but if you do, just rename it to save file 83 or 84. It's just 82, so it doesn't overwrite any of your saves. It's coming up here to replace it because I've already got a save file like that. So if you just place it there. So once you're in game, you'll go here, click load game, and it'll just come up here with Plumbella save file. So that's all you need to do, and you just click play, and then you just have fun with it. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, because I'm doing a giveaway at 40,000. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.